Cheers from Japan, I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard, and it's pickup time. Yet again, it's been a good week since I did my last video, which was also a pickup video. Uh, kind of took a break from doing some of uh, the hunting videos and stuff since I uploaded so many last month and early this month. Uh, I just kind of wanted to take a break and actually do some hunting without having the camera in front of my face this past weekend. Uh, I did meet up with some friends, so it was good to meet up with them and talk instead of having to focus on what I was filming. I even went back to the Gamera exhibit uh, again. And uh, so yeah, I got to absorb more this time with my eyeballs instead of my lens. But don't worry, I will have some more hunting videos up soon. Just uh, stay tuned. But today I thought I would just go through some of the main pickups that I got uh, the past the, this past weekend. And uh, some of this, a couple of these things came in the mail as well. As well. Uh, mostly going to be talking about Maru-san's soft final toys today, but uh, I've got a couple other pickups. And then I've also got this mystery box that came in the mail today um, when I got home. Um, I really haven't looked to see what was inside. It's one of the things that was ordered before Christmas that didn't get shipped out until after the New Year, so it just got here. So I literally don't remember what it is. I th there's, It's one of three things that I remember ordering, but we'll open that at the end. We'll see what that is at the end. Uh, but up first, uh, I got just some minor uh, Evangelion pickups. I have some more stuff, but I just wanted to go into these because they kind of work together as a kind of a pair. So first up, I picked up um, this art book called Der Monde, and it's uh, it's artwork by Yoshiyuki uh, Sadamoto, who is the character designer and manga artist of the uh, of Ev Evangelion, the original series. Um, I found it at my local book off in the wrong section. And I'd been looking for it for months, and it was in the wrong section. I just happened to walk by it, and it was like, I saw the, the spine, and I was like, oh, there it is. And I found it for about eight bucks. So, you know, it was originally retailed at uh, 3,000 yen, about 30 bucks. So, uh, inside you've got, um, well, yeah, let me show you a really cool thing. So, you've got, like, awesome poster artwork and stuff for the manga and the movies, because he also worked on the animated series in the movie. Uh, but you've also got this awesome uh, conceptual artwork. So, like, this is Ava Unit 1. Uh, concept art and him for, for, uh, versus an angel. Originally he was uh, supposed to be all white. So that's really cool to have these conceptual images in here as well of uh, the Ava Unit 1. And some of the, it's also got conceptual uh, artwork for all the other characters. So like conceptual artwork for like Ray. Very different. Um, and actually originally she was named uh, Yui Ichi, Ichijo. And I guess they split that up into uh, uh, being Shinji's mom. Misato pretty much looks the same, but here's like Asuka. She, she's a bit different looking. This is definitely a cool book. Uh, you can find this pretty easily on eBay and such. Uh, Shinji. Yeah, it's cool to have all these early artwork uh, from like 1994, I would believe. Plus all the, the artwork from later on in the series. But yeah, this book's huge. It's got lots of great artwork. So definitely worth picking up. It also has some of his... Um, Artwork from some of his other projects. Uh, actually, let me show you one of my favorite images in here. Yeah, I really like this one too. Non-Evangelion related stuff. So yeah, so I picked up this book. Oh, a bunch of flyers are falling up. I picked up this book and then um, I also found this separately at a different shop. And this is a special, special box uh, Ray Ayanami action figure. Oh, she's hard to see in there. Um, and it's, this is similar to like the mini Rebel Tech and the Microman scale, but she's a bit more long. And she comes with uh, this, uh, it, it's kind of like, it's like the pilot seat, but it's a little bit different. Uh, but this is a collaboration between the, the manga artist, uh, Yoshiyuki, Yoshiyuki Saramoto, and uh, uh, a toy sculptor, uh, Masaki Asai, who I'm not familiar with. So I, I really, I tried to look this up. So it is produced by Kodakawa Comics. So this was... Possibly like a thing that you could get with one of the comics, but it was cool to kind of have find these on the same day It's kind of a little pair set. I haven't opened this yet I'll eventually probably open it and display it together But anyway, that's all for all my Evangelion stuff that I wanted to show. I got some other little bits and bobs, but Keep those as a little set. All right now. Let's get into some Sophobi some Godzilla's and some Gamera's start small and big uh, So I picked up another uh, This is a, a, a Coco or Koku, however you say it I picked up another Marugacha Godzilla 1989 Biogoji. Um, I've got one getting kind of a peach color, but I wanted to get one that was greenish. And this one glows in the dark. 
and he's got silver spray, so it's pretty cool. The reason being is because now I have two Biolantes uh, in his final form, which I've showed in my previous video, uh, pickups video, I believe, my super fast pickup video, and um, I uh, recently acquired the Glow in the Dark Rose with uh, pink spray, and then I got something in the mail from Myrosan, and I kind of jokingly asked him, because they were delayed sending me something, which I'll show later, to uh, include a Biolante Rose form, which is the hardest one to get, uh, in the box and that would make up for the lost time and this is literally like a day after <laughs> after this I did the super fest pickups video and lo and behold they sent me one and uh, You know, I just bought one, but this is the one I wanted. This is the preferred version with the red rose the glow in the dark and um, Yeah, so he, he kind of pairs nicely with this one and I've got two more um, I actually ended up selling the other rose because I, I just wanted one and I wanted this one so so yeah That was nice. Uh, so that was basically a free bonus great and that's like an $80 toy 75 $80 toy um, so yeah I've got those guys right there and then uh, I picked up this guy this was uh, through I believe eBay because I found it for a good price because after my previous video where I showed picking up this guy the large one and I had two I picked up two large ones I ended up selling this one and uh, keeping the unpainted one uh, I don't know. I really like this one too, but I already sold to a friend of mine because I knew he wanted it and uh, So I picked up the smaller one and uh, it comes before I take this completely off also by Marusan So this was actually released in 1996 and you've got Godzilla characters on the back and Gamera characters So this is back when Marusan was having its like little revival um, They started to kind of revive themselves after uh, being gone for a long time, and then inside you've got your you get your bag. See, so it's like a full, it's like a full backing card. It's, it's a bit a bit different from your normal just uh, header card. And then inside you've got some paperwork that's got some of uh, their other products, some of the other Gamma products, and some Godzilla products. This is kind of cool, from nineteen ninety six. So you've got the ninety five Godzilla, which I showed in one of my last couple videos. So let's take them out here. Now compare it to the bigger one. All right, so here we have him. Very shiny, metallic blue. On the other underside, he's been sprayed with a uh, yellow, and it looks like the base color they used is a green, and they've also painted his teeth uh, silver. I know I should probably use my other lens for this and do a better review and better lighting, but you know this is not really a review. I just want to kind of show it off. I, I can do a review if you if you guys want me to do a review. But let's see it next to the big one. You can see they're totally different colors, and the scale is a bit different. Ooh, a bit different. Uh, I am curious to see if this is a, set, a completely different mold or if they just shrunk down the mold somehow. But they're really cool. But it's nice to have uh, a little small one too. And I'm going to take a closer look here. Yeah, it looks like it's the same mold. It's been shrunk down. This is back before 3D printing existed. So there, I'm sure there's some kind of technique they use to uh, shrink it down. Um, which I know that's a thing that they've been doing since like the, at least the 70s. Because um, a lot of the for example, um, I have a book of like the Star Wars uh, prototypes and like all of the micro figures that they made, uh, the little micro uh, line were sculpted big and then shrunk down. So I don't know how that process works. Uh, maybe I'll look into that and talk about that someday. But anyway, uh, one thing that um, I don't like as much is that his teeth are silver. I like the gold teeth and tusks better. But he, they also gave him bloodshot eyes instead of gold eyes, which I kind of do like that. But you know... Uh, these two were both released in 96 and um, currently shooting up in price. I was surprised that I saw this recently in Japan a few times uh, in bag for like 50 bucks. It's about how much I paid for it. Um, and I sold this for about the same price because I got it I got it for a bit less than that, but shocked. Uh, <clears throat> but I actually picked up one of these years ago um, when I was just collecting camera probably more than a decade ago. For like 500 yen five bucks here and yes yeah, so i was surprised they've shot up so much because they weren't valued as much uh back then oh another big difference i've noticed now is that uh he actually has the marusan logo hard stamped into his uh in the vinyl or this one's just got a print on uh thing going on or painted on thing and uh the unpainted one doesn't have that at all so anyway that's that camera Alright, so next Marusan thing we're going to talk about is also Marusan from the 90s. This is a reissued version of 
Marathon slash Bullmark's uh, original 1966 to whatever year Bullmark released it, 1969, 1970, uh, JTEL, JTEL Godzilla. So this is technically a Bandai uh, Bullmark release from 1992. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got the it's got the Bullmark stamp and then Bandai 1992 made in Japan because Bullmark is owned by Bandai. So this is kind of cool. This is like the same sticker uh, that they put on the uh, 1992 Dragon Ball Z Super Battle Collection figures, which is neat. So I'll take that off. So it came with this little tag, not a header card. But um, found this really cheap also at Coco. Uh, and he's a lighter soft vinyl. I don't know if this was produced in China or I mean it says Japan. This must be Japanese, but it does. It feels different from the other ones I have. Uh, but this was mass produced. So yeah, Morrison went out of business. A lot of people that worked for them uh, founded Bullmark, so they reused this mold with the JTEL. And so there's a bunch of different variants from Myerson and Bullmark in the mid 60s to mid 70s of this guy. And uh, you know, I'm not chasing down the variants of those. Those I like the reissues, so I have some of the unpainted ones. So I figured I'd pick up one that was modeled after one of the original ones because um, I don't currently have one, except for uh, I've got a super size one that's like this big that's similar in paint scheme. And it's really shiny. So it's kind of hard to see the detail on it. It's really dark. Like it, it looks like it's not lit well, but it's like it's almost black. It's like a, it's like a hunter green that's almost black with a lot of silver spray. But I dig it. Uh, keep them over here, because I'm gonna use them as a comparison in just a second. And then also, yeah, much weightier on this guy. Uh, I also mail order pre ordered back in November this exclusive. Uh, Marusan, well, not exclusive, mail order. You had to order exclusively from Marusan. You had to pre-order it. Uh, green, glitter, gold, JTEL, Godzilla. And he's actually translucent. Uh, let me see. So you can see he's... The vinyl is actually clear. There's no color on the vinyl whatsoever. They've just put so much glitter inside of him. Uh, much like the uh, the Gamera that I picked up by Marusan at the uh, event that I showed uh, a couple of videos ago. Um, very much the same as that. I, I actually probably do a well-lit better lens uh review of all these translucent marusan glitter figures because i've got half a dozen of them now and i'd like to show them in their glorious lighting uh and you know their their shininess in a in a proper video review but yeah i picked up him uh and he finally came in so that's why they sent me the this guy because uh they were uh, like a month late shipping this to me so they threw that as a bonus so thank you marusan uh i still will keep collecting your guys stuff and yeah, if, uh, the, uh, stuff like this is usually Japan-only pre-orders, so let me know if you're trying to get a hold of any of their pre-order stuff, and I'll try to help you out. But usually, they're pretty limited on how much they can ship to you. But, uh, oh, yeah, let's do a quick comparison. So this is the Bandai Bullmark, and this is the Marasan, and they are exactly the same size. And it looks like they are using the same mold from what I can tell. Let's check the tails. One of the big differences in the variants of the uh, 60s and 70s is the uh, the tail. One's more curved, one's a bit elongated. There's some with different amounts of sections on them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. These are pretty close. They're pretty close. This one's a little less jade out. That could just be just the, the, the vinyl itself. But anyway, if you don't have a, a J-Tail, Marasan, or Bullmark, Godzilla, you need to get one. It's the original Godzilla figure. It's off vinyl figure. Based off of the Aurora model kits. Which was made into a Marusan model kit and then made into that. Okay. I think that's all the soft vinyl stuff I was going to talk about. Let's get into this mystery box. Uh, I will say that this box weighs almost nothing. So whatever's in here is not going to be anything massive. Uh... I will say that the two things I do remember ordering, uh, one was a custom-made Blu-ray set of Dr. Slump that hasn't got here yet, and the other one was uh, a set of San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con uh, prototype Vader Star Wars figures, which friend requested and I wanted one as well so that might be in here let's see I'm gonna open it up uh, let's see could be something else don't remember da, 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 da. oh it looks like I was right can't see in there but it's the San Diego Comic-Con 
uh, prototype Vader's. Uh, I had actually ordered one of these previously, and then a friend was interested in it, so sold it to him. Found these for cheap, so I grabbed a set of them. And then my friend wanted another one for his son. So one of these will go to him, and I will keep the other one. I'll just open one here. I'm not gonna open both of these. They are both uh, different color, uh, color variations, but I'm not trying to collect. I just wanted one for myself. I know a lot of people complained about these. There was like a cheap way to make money because they're unpainted and limitless amounts of uh, color uh, variations you could get on it. But here he is. So people I like, I like to collect unpainted figures, like unpainted soft would be colorful things. So yeah, this is up my alley. Uh, but it's got this really cool shiny foil uh, blister card, which is a total improvement on the, uh, the retro collection figures that uh, Hasbro slash Kenner did. Um, so yeah, it's cool. That's it. That was it. That was what was in the box. So I hope you enjoyed these pickups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I didn't talk too much. Um, yeah, I've got, I had a bunch of other Evangelion stuff that I picked up. I just didn't really want to get it all out. There's some other stuff too. Um, I did get some, I did post a lot of this on the, the Evangelion stuff on the group that I run, Evangelion, uh, Collectors, Vintage, Vintage and Modern on Facebook. So check that out if you haven't already become a member. I posted even an exclusive video on there that only went onto that group uh, reviewing a DVD, a Blu-ray box set that I got. So yeah, that's it. Thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. I want to do some reviews of all the stuff that I picked up in the past couple months. I really want to do some detailed reviews. I will probably do the, the Glitter and Maro-san stuff. Oh, wait a second. I just forgot. There's something else I forgot. And it's Safabi related. I almost forgot. Let me stand up. It's right here. So, a uh, fellow collector friend of mine, Nick, he asked me to go, when I went to Coco, he asked me to grab uh, a couple things for him that he saw in the video that I shot a couple weeks back. And he didn't think they would be there anymore, but they were. And that was these two. Titanosaurus Sophobies by Marmot. Uh, he said this one was a Mandarake exclusive, and I'm going to leave them in these bags, keep them protected. So, yeah, that was hard to get. It's a little bonus thing for you guys to see. And then this one was um, released by, he said, one of the painters, and they, he get, gives these, I think, a wholesale to Mandarake or something like that. So they had stock of them, but yeah, grab both of them. So, hey, Nick, there you go. Grabbing some more stuff for him, and these will be on their way. So, yeah, let me know if you guys want some stuff. I'm always down to pick up stuff for people. Hey, yeah, can't believe I forgot about those till the end. I hope you stuck around. Well, if you did stick around, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Watch one of these other videos over here and see you next time.